On this video, we're going to go over the process of importing FBX objects. FBX objects can be created in 3D Studio Max, Maya, downloaded from the internet, but once you have your FBX objects, you need to import them into your scene in Scene Composer. So to start with, let's create a 3D scene. We have a 3D scene here, and we can just uh, name it. So we'll call this one Test Scene, and we'll create our 3D scene. Now we can go ahead and import an FBX. You'll feel like clicking the browse here. This is really just a place to set up the folder where this uh, object import will end up in Scene Composer. So right now when we import the FBX, it's gonna end up in under My Module Imports. That's fine. We'll go ahead and import this generic car model. So you can see everything that's coming in uh, under this FBX. And if I was to make some changes to this FBX, you could see what pieces of the FBX changed. So that's rather useful. Okay, we'll click OK. And now we have the import right here. So that is how you import a FBX object into Scene Composer. It shows up under the Imports folder. You can expand it out and see that under the root node, we have the car body and all the pieces to the car model. So that's the basic process to bring that model into our 3D scene. You would switch back over to your test scene and you could expand it out here and drag car body over onto your test scene. And now you have your 3D object on your test scene. So there's really two views here. We have our imports view, and you'll get a different uh, view for each object that you import. But these are not yet in your scene. And these would just be individual objects. It's kind of a preview for the objects that you've imported. But once you get them in your scene, then you can position them. And to illustrate that, we'll go ahead and import another FBX object. So let's go ahead and we'll import uh, the primitives. This is just an FBX that contains a bunch of primitive objects. So we'll go ahead and import these. And now you'll get an import preview. Again, these objects are not yet in our 3D scene. But we got a nice preview of the objects. We can go over here to our test scene where we have our car. And let's say that we want to go ahead and add these primitives. Now in this case, instead of adding all the primitives, let's just look at this and say, well, we've got a lot of different, different objects here. Let's go ahead and drag in just the teapot. So we've dragged over the teapot. It's a little bit small. I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to bring up the scale gizmo. And we'll scale this up, T to translate it, reposition it to a new position. And now you can see we have two objects. So that should give you the basics, uh, basic information needed to import FBX objects and to get started uh, populating your scene and scene composer.